Hey, it's the Theotech Podcast, and we are back after a couple of weeks. We took election night off, and uh, whether you're happy or sad, we're here to make you happy to talk about theology versus technology and throw them together in what we call Theotech. And uh, we've, we're a little bit shorthanded tonight. Um, we're not sure where La Rosa is, so if you find him, please let us know. Uh, Rick <laughs> is at, uh, what is it, ETS? Is that where he went? He is at ETS SPL, yeah. Yeah, so he's he probably won't be able to join us. He said he'd try if he had a, a moment free, but uh, maybe give us a report from there, but unlikely. So anyway, but we are going to talk about what's in my bag, and uh, that's kind of our way of saying our favorite things on steroids. And it'll also be a good way, you know, we can maybe recommend a few things. Christmas will be coming in uh, a month and a half, so maybe it'll be the kind of thing where you see something and you say, I'm going to put that on my list for uh, me to buy for my friend or my wife or my husband or my son or daughter or mom or dad or pastor or staff member or whatever, or to say, hey, everybody, here's what I want for Christmas. So uh, we're going to kick it off and start. Wes is going to do it first. And we were just commenting, Wes, you said that you don't carry that much in your bag anymore. I so this really will only take about 30 seconds, right? Uh, probably longer because I talk oh. long. But the... Uh, yeah, I don't I don't care that much anymore. I pared down. I used to have like every wire connector and everything else you can think of because that's people would always need it. Now you actually this would be favorite. Now if I have five dongles, I have what everybody needs, so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um but really my bag consists of my two major major devices, which is my MacBook, which is what I'm looking at now. And then this is actually my more important device, which is my iPad Pro. Um, this is my writing tool. This is what I usually will use by default. Um, and then, because I am on a MacBook Pro that has limited storage space and I want to be able to carry my, my Lightroom library around with me, I got this little doohickey, which is a two terabyte Western Digital portable. This is backed up in four different locations for anybody who's wondering why you're carrying your your laptop with your, your uh, Lightroom library around with you. Don't shake your head, Antoine. It's all my clouds that it's backed up to, so it's okay, with the exception of Crash Plan. I do use that. Um, and then let's get my bag here. Let's have goody time. So really, it's very simple. I have a couple dongles and a couple I don't even use anymore. This is a Thunderbolt to HDMI. So that's for my older MacBook that didn't have HDMI out that was built in. Uh, this is Thunderbolt to VGA, which is what I use on Sunday mornings. Really the only time that I use that. And this is Thunderbolt to Firewire 800 for my old Firewire 800 drives. And that's pretty cool. But the one that I like the most is actually this one. And the reason why I like it the most is because it's not Thunderbolt. I don't know if anybody else has had problems with the, the Thunderbolt. I guess this is two. Um, the connectors get very loose after a while, and they get begin to get very finicky, and they tend to, to uh, zonk out on you, which is a problem I had after running it all day um, at annual session one year, and it's been very finicky ever since. Um, so I actually don't trust Thunderbolt that much. This is a USB 3. Uh, it is a three-port... USB 3 hub, but the killer for this is Ethernet at the end. So this was actually really nice. This is 20 bucks off of Amazon. Um, yeah, you made that a favorite thing, I think, a while back, didn't you? Yeah, I did. And I don't use Ethernet a lot, but like if I'm doing a new setup or if I'm going to a place where I want to control my video studio when I'm out and about, rather than video, and so I always have a little coiled up Cat5 cable, which is nice. I have some mints. They're fun. Um, are those USB mints or are those they? are not USB mints. They're just mints. <laughs> and an extra, an extra lightning cable. Usually I have an HDMI cable in here too, but uh, my children lost one and they stole it from me. So I don't know what's going on. And I have a little portable microphone for my iPhone, which is really nice. That is basically what I have in my computer bag. Well, I want, I want to ask you one question about your Thunderbolt getting uh, loose Wonky. and finicky. Is that the, the port on the computer gets loose, or is that the adapter is getting I think it's a combination of both, because I've used 
uh, I've used several different adapters. Um, and I haven't noticed that. That's why I brought it up. Yeah, and I, it really it really happened to my VGA adapter, but it does it a little bit on my FireWire 800. This is not quite as bad, um, but I think it's just something after you run something. I was running it for like eight days, or eight days, eight hours, and that gets very, very hot. And I wonder if that did something to the port to make it looser. Um, so I'm actually, one of the reasons why I, I'm looking forward to getting to the, uh, to the newer platform in a couple of years, I'm still a couple of years left with this computer, is just because you, the Thunderbolt 3 USB-C is, seems to be a much more stable plug. Um, yeah, uh, the, all the ones, I haven't used one on a MacBook yet, but the, the your audio laptops just went that bye -bye. I reviewed, I'm sorry? I thought I you said something. Hear you. you can't hear me? You're very, very, very quiet. Okay. Uh, if I can. No, it's volume's coming through clear on this side. But I can't okay. hear anybody. This might be just my fault. Hold on a second here. Okay, so it's on your end. All right. Um, yep, there we go. It's my end. Thank okay. you. All right. The uh, uh, yeah, we're, we are extremely professional here. So you you almost never see that kind of thing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what I was going to say was uh, uh, every device that I've used, whether it be a phone, a tablet, or a computer, with USB-C, they're they're firm. They're fairly easy to get in, and I love that they're reversible. But they're they're firm. So, well, um, and, it's, and it's less. T it feels like it's less top heavy. Yeah. Do you have any kind of special bag, or is it just sort of like a generic, or, or what? I got a it? nice. My bag is a nice leather. I decided to to splurge last one. This is a uh, what is this? Samsonite leather bag. Um, I really like it. It feels yeah, lift that up a little so we can see it. Mm. Yeah, that does look good. Yeah, it's a nice. I picked it up from B and H Photo. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like it very much. Antoine, are you ready? You want to show off? Uh, you may have even less because. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have that. I don't have it so much in my bag. Uh, let me go ahead and flip the screen and see if you guys can see a thing or two. Uh, oops, there we go. So there's my first thing. That goes with me everywhere. I got this. I have no clue how long ago. Um, but basically, it's two Ooh. USB ports and a car charger and a wall charger all in one. Um, reason being is that I always have at least two things that need USB charging, whether I'm in my car or not. And so this actually goes in my gadget bag and pretty much stays there. Um, I have a few other adapters and cables that I use, but that's kind of the, the major one there. I believe I got that at a truck stop. Um, that's, that's really cool. It's probably the longest never failing one um, ever, ever, never, ever one. Um, yeah, I've got one of those too. It's not that exact kind, but I've got one, and they're, that's handy to have. I've never yeah. seen that. That's really cool. Yeah, it's, it, the only problem is in some hotels, where I'm in a hotel right now, uh, is that, you know, occasionally you got to find the right plug for it to go into because mm -hmm. every plug has got 20,000 things around it. But mm -hmm. today, it's good. It's working. Stuff is plugged in. Uh, here's my usual bag. Nice felt case. I think we talked about this a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I forgot where I got it from. Uh, maybe, maybe I did. Anatech. I-N-A-T-E-C-K. Um, 15 bucks. Really nice. nice and easy. It's felt. You know, big enough slot for my iPad Pro um, and my iPad Mini. I can put both of those in here and still have enough room for all the uh, cables that, well, the few cables that I keep left. Does uh, yours have a holder for the pencil? No, no, I didn't get the holder for the pencil. Mine just has yeah. the two other slots right here. For well, the reason phone. I'm asking you that question is I actually ordered one of those on Amazon, and the one I ordered said it had an Apple Pencil holder just inside the flap, nope. and the pictures showed it. When it came, it didn't have one. Retro, Reggie. So I sent it back to them and, and wrote a uh, – I, I didn't write a bad review. I just sent it back. Uh, and then they replied and said, why did you send this back? It's perfectly good. And I said, because it doesn't have an Apple Pencil holder. <laughs> and uh, and so then their customer service got really annoying. I mean, they kept emailing me like every other day. So then I did go and write a review saying, you know, what well, this company's crazy. These people are weird. So that's why I brought, brought it up. That's why I asked. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. A few other things I have in my bag. 
You're laughing because I have terrible luck with customer service, and you know that. I was I was on the phone with customer service. Customer service does not factor is at all on my list of things to care about. But um, yeah, I understand. Got it. <laughs> um, Post-it notes because it never fails that I have to leave a note for somebody somewhere that doesn't have something digital. Um, and don't I'm just leave your phone. Yeah, I could do that. I'm um, I I hate paper. I don't like it too, but post-it notes actually come in handy for a few things. Um, I bought this wooden, this was a handcrafted wooden pen and stylus. Um, the back end of it is that nasty rubber stylus on the back, but it works mm -hmm. decently enough on my iPad mini. Um, and it's got great weight. It's very hard to find a pen that has good weight to it. This is a heavy pen. I like it. Um, bought it at a craft shop in Charlotte, North Carolina, as a matter of fact. Uh, other favorite charger. 29 watt USB-C to lightning charger. Um, hmm. and this is iClever. So I got that off of Amazon. That was 15 or 20 bucks compared to the 50 bucks that Apple was selling it for. Hmm. Um, it is the Apple official cable, however, because I don't trust everybody's cables. So I did buy right. Apple cable, but not Apple's charger. This charger seemed to get uh, decent enough reviews. It's got the LED, let you know and that it's a USB -C it goes plug. Okay. Nice. It's USB C, so yep. yeah. So I'm future proofed uh, in that wise, and that goes back there. I carry the Tron Smart uh, because it never fails that Antoine has to do a presentation somewhere, like tomorrow. And so I'll need to go ahead and do video out somewhere. So Tron Smart allows me to go wireless from my iPad, iPhone. How does um, that work for you, Antoine? Explain, explain what that is first, and then answer Wes's question. So um, most folks understand the concept of AirPlay or uh, using Miracast, maybe a wi to wirelessly go to a projector or to a TV screen. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I use this for. So this is this creates its own Wi-Fi hotspot and allows any device, Windows, Mac, Linux, Chromebook, uh, iOS, Android, BlackBerry, Windows Phone. It supports everything you can throw at it. Um, and this is the T1000 Elite. So this is the one that can actually drive uh, four screen, four different devices at the same time to the screen. Mm. Pretty cool. Mm. Um, and the, the hotspot it creates, instead of you having to have software to push it, it actually runs its own little mini web server. So you do it all through a web browser, do all the configuration and stuff through there, which mm -hmm. is cool. Um, in the case that I don't find a HDMI port um, somewhere, I have this little guy, which allows me to go into VGA. <laughs> so okay. HDMI on this side, VGA on this side. So. Yep, I'm covered on but on as many ends as possible. There, uh, what else is in here? Uh, trusty Rusty, you know, mm -hmm. GA to Lightning because you never know when I when Transmart doesn't work. That has happened a few times. Mm -hmm. This is ignoring the cable part of that. This is my headset, my Bluetooth headset. So this is Tronfy, T R O N F Y. Nice twelve dollar Bluetooth headset. Um, usually use this for music play, but when the when the situation warrants, I can use it for calls as well. I'll get five hours, six hours of battery life if it was just music. I get about two hours, 90 minutes to two hours of straight phone calls with it. So for a little thing that's kind of perfect for 12 bucks, can't beat it. I've lost two of them. I bought three of them. Uh, uh, lastly, um, because this is very important for a guy who uses a pencil, <laughs> Apple Pencil. So I keep the little inset that came into your pencil box that has the extra tip and little uh, female to female connector for yeah. your pencil to your cable. I keep that yeah. with me as well. There's no need to kind of keep that in the box and keep it away. So that goes into the bag as well. Other than that, I'm carrying iPhone SE at the moment, um, the mini that I have in front of me that I'm talking on and my iPad Pro, uh, Lord willing. Uh, the Mini and the SE get sold really soon so that I can move to a 7S or Plus or 7S Plus or 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 whatever Apple wants to gift me. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Dream big, live a little. <laughs> well, uh, that's cool. You got any questions for him, Wes, about any of those things? No, I'm really, what's the Transmart going for right now? 30 bucks. Yeah, and how does it work for you? quite well um yeah the only issues that i've run into that are issues of eh, are when i'm in somebody's corporate setting and i have to pass through um 
if it forces me to pass through their respective yeah. firewalls to connect to the Tron Smart, but if not, um, yeah, it, it it works out. Uh, and how does how do you set the adapter from your from your iPad to go to the Tron Smart? It creates its own ad hoc Wi-Fi. But how do you send the video signal? Is what I'm asking. No, it's AirPlay. Oh, so it ends up being an AirPlay receiver. Got yeah. you. It's okay. AirPlay and Miracast. It's right. AirPlay, and Miracast. So if you have a Samsung phone, or if you have a everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> my uh, yeah. A Windows tablet with uh, yeah. with Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. A Wi-Fi. Uh, it'll it'll do all kinds of stuff. No, that's really I, cool. I bought one of those, and unfortunately, the one I got was defective. I still got it around here because it it sort of works, but I. I probably would just throw it away, um, and I didn't place it in time, so I couldn't, you know, return it. I've almost pulled the trigger on that a couple of times, but I've always, always been hesitant. Yeah, I, I, I Android, wish, iOS, being connect, being connected to an extra screen if you need be. I mean, I've got a thirty some odd inch TV sitting in front of me, and mm-hmm. if, I need to, if I need that extra screen, screen size for additional work, it comes in handy. Yeah. Uh, you know, if I were a Windows or Android person, that would be a, a true second screen. So mm-hmm. Instead of just mirroring, I'd be doing two things at once uh, kind of moment. So, yeah, it, it, it works works out very well. Um, cool. I've definitely got my money's worth out of it. It stays in the bag. Awesome. See, I think it's funny. He's got more stuff in his bag than I have in mine. And his is a felt folder. <laughs> so, Kevin, what's in your bag? Well, let me start by... Just the boring stuff. I've got a uh, uh, an Apple MacBook Pro. Um, mine's a, a late 2013 model, 13 inch, uh, sort of slightly better than middle of the road. It's you know mine has the 512 and eight gigs of RAM and that kind of mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I'm I'm sort of a glutton for punishment, and so I actually I always carry one laptop either that or I've got my uh, Microsoft Surface Pro I have the 512 K 512 gigabyte model um, I've had it since it first came out I bought it brand new when it first uh, shipped so I either have that or this Apple MacBook or this or as of late just recently I picked up the Acer Chromebook R13, hmm. uh, which is a very, very nice Chromebook. It is, uh, it's charging in the other room, so I won't pull it out, but um, it has almost a MacBook feel. Now, it's, it's, it's a little. It certainly has a MacBook look. Yeah, and it's, um, it's got a decent keyboard. It's not a MacBook keyboard. It's not um, mm-hmm. as good as, uh, my other favorite keyboards are the Lenovo, you know, uh, business class keyboards mm-hmm. that you get. Those are the best keyboards. But this is a, a pretty computer. It's it's very nice, and it's speedy. You know, it's it's got a, a well, not speedy. That's not the right word for it. Uh, it it performs decently. Uh, yeah. It has it has an ARM processor, so it's not like a Core i3 um, or mm-hmm. even a Celeron speed, but they do something with it to make it so it still feels fairly swift, even though it's only got an arm. And well, what's your ba- I mean, your battery life's going to be really good with an the arm. The battery right? life on this thing is like, outstanding. I, I had it sitting all weekend. I didn't charge it all weekend. And Monday morning, I, I stopped off somewhere uh, to get a, a biscuit in the morning before I went to our, annu- our weekly minister's conference. And it only had 20% battery life. And I was planning to work for two hours, and I went, oh, no. And then I went down to the thing, and it said, 20%, you've got three hours left. That's always nice. Wow, yes, hallelujah. So anyway, it's it's USB-C for charging and for outputs. It also has other – but it, it, and then this is the one, if you put on um, – the, the beta version, it has the Android apps. Uh, this is the one that runs the Android store. Okay, and cool. There's, there's about three or four Chromebooks right now that will that will run Android apps. This is one of the first ones to get it, obviously because it has this nice uh, touchscreen display. It's got a beautiful 
a 12, uh, a 1920 by 1080 display. And um, I like that flip hinge. It looks like they really did that nice. It's it's really good. The, the hinge is a little bit uh, loose when you, if I mean, I'm a, I'm a banger when I type. And so it can wobble a little bit more than I would like. But uh, I haven't finished writing my review of it, but it's going to get a very positive review. So uh, I'm extremely pleased with it. And, and I bought this one. I didn't uh, get this as a review unit from Acer. They gotcha. offered one, but I said, you know, I just I want one of these. Uh, so I went ahead and bought it, and I'm very happy I did. I sold my Acer Chromebook, R, or Acer Chromebook 15 and my mm -hmm. uh, Asus Chromebook Flip and my... Asus or Acer Chromebook Flip and uh, no Asus Chromebook Flip, which was one of the other ones that had Android. And then I and also I'm looking at the the screen there. Why is that bottom be bevel so huge? It that's a problem. It's it's got kind of a big bezel, which is on the bottom. I don't understand that. That seems really odd. Yeah, I think that might be because of the fact that it's you know it flips back and and it's a 16 by nine. I I, yeah. I guess they're trying to give. Oh. I, that seems I, a little weird, but okay. But look at the the the, the touchpad on it. Very large touchpad. Yeah. So so I'm very pleased with this um, as a Chromebook goes. And because it's running Android apps, I get much better Bible software than I would. Right. With Chromebook, you you have to use web based software, mm -hmm. and there isn't yet a good web based Bible study tool. Now there's Bible reading tools and Bible searching tools. But there's just not a good one. You, Logos and Word Search are the two best right now, but they're not. They're not. They're still not good. They're they're the best of a bunch of really bad. Uh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, and then so what I do is I carry one of those three, sometimes even two of those three, depending on what I'm going to be writing and reviewing that week. So I almost always have the MacBook or the tab the the Surface, and then I almost always have the Chromebook. And the, lately, the Chromebook's what I pull out if I'm just going to be kind of messing around and not working a lot. Or if I'm not going to be doing a lot of um, screenshots of Windows or Mac software in a review. Uh, or writing, you know, with uh, the Logos or, or Olive Tree Bible app, writing sermons and Bible studies. Mm -hmm. And then I also have my iPad Pro, which, to be honest with you, um, I'm, I've used, I'm using less and less. I still mm -hmm. like it. I still, I'm not getting rid of it. But uh, I don't know. Just having these other three, I just don't use it as much. So, so you know, I kind of have a, a, a silly riches of stuff, but that's a little bit of because of what I do in addition to being a pastor. Um, so those are the, the main devices. And then, of course, for phones, um, I carry two phones because I want to write about Android and iPhone. And so I have the iPhone 7S Plus. And then, of course, I also have the Google Pixel, which uh, I will bring up just so you can see it. I'll, uh, the, the 7 Plus is so popular, I don't really feel like I need to talk much about that. But let me show of off the Google. About it's like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's all. <laughs> but the Google Pixel is the nicest Android phone money can buy. Now, uh, you had originally ordered that and then canceled your order and then got it again. I canceled it twice. I went back and forth twice on this phone. Okay. The reason I canceled it the first time is I changed my mind and decided I don't want it. Gotcha. And then I said, no, I do want it. And so I ordered it from Google and um, the, the ship date. And, and the only thing they had left was something I didn't really want. But I okay. went ahead and ordered it. But the ship date was like, you know, I don't think I have it yet if I kept that original order. Got I'm a Verizon it. customer, and so I I went to Verizon and got one day one, and I got exactly what I wanted a black 128. Okay. Uh, so, but it, it, it's um it's a very nice phone has a great fingerprint reader on it. It mm -hmm. has a great camera on it. It's very fast. Uh, Android 7.1 is um. A, a definite improvement over six, whatever. Uh, there's some features in it that I just really love. It kind of has a, a form of the force touch that uh, iOS has. So okay. you, you hold down 
um, some of the Google app icons, and then a few other icons that have adopted it, and pops up a little menu, which is, is very nice. Um, I wish it had uh, external SD cards so I could, you know, always know that my photos are being saved to that, and I could get them out quickly if I something happened to the phone. But, you know, they're backing up to Google Photos and to other places. So, but anyway, I, I just really like this phone, and, and uh, it's a little expensive, but I'm paying, you know, I'm doing the monthly interest-free lease with, uh, with Verizon. Okay. So those are my main devices. Now, what's in my bag? Too much, okay? Um, I'm not going to show you all the silly chargers and cables, but I have, uh, excuse me here, Magic, oh, let me, let me quit sharing my screen so you can see what I've got. All right, I've got, of course, Magic Mouse. I know lots of people don't like these. I love them. Uh, if I could find a Windows one, I would use it. I quite, you could use that with Windows, can't you? Uh, you could. It's, not, it's a little wonky. But on the Windows side or on the Chromebook side, the Logitech MX Anywhere is a great mouse. I love this mouse. And it will plug, it will connect to up to three things at once. Yeah, I love those. Um, and, uh, you know, it's got lots of features, but it's just, it's very stable. Mm -hmm. um, feels good in your hand, even though it's fairly small. I like that it's how small it is in my bag. And so that's one reason I enjoy that. Um, I have this little guy. I don't know why I also carry him around. But it's a really tiny Logitech. Uh, I can't even remember the model number of this thing. But in fact, I'm going to take it out right now because I never ever use it. Uh, <laughs> let's see what else I, I've got in here that would be of interest. I every once in a while someone hands me a DVD or a CD, so I still carry this guy around for the the Mac. <laughs> Wait, just stop. Look at Antoine's face. You just like you physically wounded him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, these are great little cables. I can't even remember where I got these, but uh, they're they're very nice cables that are reversible USB. So in other words, oh yeah, I love those. The USB goes in both sides, and guess what? Micro USB also reversible. Mm-hmm. I love that. How do they do a reversible micro USB? It just it just works. It's kind of crazy. I can't remember what the brand is of this. That's, I also have a version USB. of this for uh, USB C. Right. So I've got that. And then I went ahead and got Apple's little uh, micro USB to lightning adapter. Lightning adapter. Uh -huh. That way I can carry this instead of carrying an Apple cable around because you know. <laughs> Sometimes, actually, I don't really need this anymore. I don't have a micro USB anything now, but I've right. got it in case I need it. Oh, uh, let's see here. This puppy is wonderful. I think I shared this a few weeks ago. It's um, a universal laptop charger. Okay. Look how small that thing is. Yeah, and it nice. is made by Fin6, um, and it ha also has an extra USB port on it. So you plug in your laptop, and this is what I carried for my Acer Chromebook 15. Now I've gotten rid of that, so I really don't need this anymore. It does not have an, a, a MacBook plug anymore or at all, so I'm, I'm hoping that they'll come out with a, a USB to put C to put right there, uh, but they haven't yet. That would be awesome. But anyway, it's small, and so it's still in here, even though I probably won't even need to use that anymore. Of course, I've got HDMI cables and VGA cables, and I've got the adapters you have, all the, the Apple adapters. You know, it's kind of crazy. Microfiber cloth. I do have one of those. I forgot to mention it. Two. Uh, I always carry a pen, just because you might need a pen sometime. And the Jot Dash this is a, a, a fine tip mm -hmm. stylus. See how fine that tip is? It doesn't have the big wonky one. It's, it works with iPad and iPhone. Now, that is an active but not paired stylus, correct? So it does need power? 
Correct. It's not like Bluetooth paired. So it's not Bluetooth that. paired. What it's, it, I, I'm trying to remember what the technology that it used, but it just, it works. It's beautiful and mm -hmm. very nice. And so if for some reason, some if I ever lose my uh, Apple Pencil or forget to bring it or whatever, this you is in there. there. But I can I'm also not. use this on, you know, uh, other devices. So, you know, sometimes I'm testing another tablet. Yeah, and that's just that that's a typical stylus. It it throws out a power to to simulate the the wider touch of your of your fingerprint so it closes the connection. I actually if I wasn't getting the pencil, I'd probably be picking one of those up this year. And that's how it charges. Mm -hmm. uh, magnetically put the tip right yep. there. Plug it right in the USB port. Plug it in the USB. Oh, so, uh, these are very nice. Adonit, A D O N I T is the company that that makes these. All right, I'm going to show you my MacBook charger only because I have the plug bug. This is from 12 South. Mm -hmm. So what this does is it adds a USB port. And of course, you know, these MacBook chargers do that, right? And so, I have to say, that is one of the greatest things about the MacBook charger. Yeah. It's wonderful, and and of course Microsoft was smart. It's, a, and they it's the same that. thing on the iPad. That's true, Antoine. I because I do <laughs> use my MacBook extension cable on an on an iPad charger, so I have the longer cable. I can't remember how if I can pull this off good. I haven't yeah. done it until long. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin, we cut you off. What were you saying about Microsoft? No, Microsoft on the Surface Pro um, charger, it builds it right in. Yeah. So, you know, that's the, the nice thing about it. I don't think I'm going to show, I've, you know, I've got a bunch of little cables and stuff like that, but, you know, you've but got who's going to be the first one of us to carry a generator with us? You? <laughs> yeah, I, I need one. Now, let me also show you this bag. You really, that's a question? You're going to have a, you're going to have a fuel cell generator at some point. Yeah. <laughs> What's Kevin doing? So you can see this puppy. So that's the bag you bag. use? This is the Ogeo. Um, Renegade. Renegade. It's built for 17-inch computers. Uh, it was a review unit, which is why I've got it. But um, that thing will hold a ton of stuff. And this was my review video. Let me uh, show you here my son helping me. But we just did a video, you know, and so you can put it back when the phone, yeah. the phone used to be yeah. tiny. <laughs> that's how long ago this was done it's got nice padding on the back so it's still fairly comfortable even though you're carrying around a ton of stuff but um, you know my son ends up pulling just I mean we stuffed this thing as full as we could get it with just about everything you could find you know and so I don't carry all this stuff anymore uh, in there but I just thought this was fun he and I you see how much you can put into it yeah, you can see all the garbage on here. And for one of my church members came up to me one Sunday morning and said, you know, I was doing a search for 17-inch uh, computer bags, and uh, I saw this video of this guy with this, you know, skinny kid, and they just kept pulling stuff out of this bag. You should see the bag that this guy had. And I said, well, what kind was it? He says, well, you ought to know. It was your video. <laughs> so anyway, so that's why, you know, I told you I have the three computers that I carry around with me. Sometimes uh, I actually carry all three of them, and that's I can because of this. It just fits in the bag. It's a it's a pretty nice bag, so uh, I'll I'll won't make you watch all of it. There's your Tron Smart I was searching, and then the other thing I wanted to show I don't have it with me right now, but this uh, Belkin case, you know, you were talking about how you carry around your iPad, a little card that has the the mm -hmm. iPad thing on it. Mm -hmm. Well, this does the same thing. It's got a little channel right here that you can put a, the extra tip and the, uh, the adapter for the cable that you hmm. put on the end of the pencil. Um, plus, you, put the, you can put the pencil in there and cover it, and it's a, a stand if you want to you know, set up your little desk wherever you're at mobile. But the main reason I carry this thing around in my bag, it's in the other room right now just because I took it out to use it, not to carry the pencil, but to carry those little things around in. Uh, mm -hmm. safely and something big enough that I'm not going to lose because <laughs> I'm bad about losing stuff. Yeah. So anyway, good, yeah. better the, the, and then of course this little thing slides over. These are 29. 
I like that slide over. That's really a neat little thing. Yeah, I, I really like it. Uh, of course, that's the case I'm using now. Uh, Rick Mansfield showed off his two weeks ago, and I bought one only. I got yellow and green for Green Bay Packers. So I can proudly uh, display my colors, even though my team isn't giving me much to be proud of right now. And then last, I've got this little bit, dude. It's um. You're sharing your screen. Yeah. There you go. HDMI to VGA and audio out. Tiny little thing. I've got. I actually need to get one of those. I have an HDMI coupler, but I don't have an HDMI to. It's by MNXO. How much are they going for? I don't have any idea. I can't remember. 12 bucks, Amazon. 12 bucks. Is it? Yeah, they're not bad at all. I, I need to pick one up. And it's particularly because I don't, I'm getting to the point where I don't trust my Thunderbolt adapter, and that would just work nicer because it plugs right into the VGA, or to the HDMI. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's, it's 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 handy. Um, handy. <laughs> I said last thing, but I do have a couple others. This little. I have that great little tripod. Okay. With the with the uh, iPhone adapter, I had that iPhone it's adapter. So it fits up to a, a larger than an iPhone six seven S plus. Mm -hmm. And I'm reviewing these um, syllable. Uh, Bluetooth speak, uh, Bluetooth earbuds. Yeah, case is kind of neat. It opens up. The mm. case will charge these things twice. Mm. Oh, yeah, I like those. I wasn't really too impressed with them using Bluetooth as the as the. Uh... Sadly, the 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 left is the one that connects to your device. Mm -hmm. Okay, it works great and sounds excellent. The right connects okay. to the left. About half the time. <laughs> mm. And um, I contacted the company that, I'm that, that I was going to review them for, and I told them the problem. And uh, he said, now ex explain exactly what you mean, because that's not – it shouldn't be that way. We've, this is the first we've ever heard of it. And so I explained what I meant, and I haven't heard back from them since. <laughs> In other words, we you know our stuff is crap, and we kind of hope that you'll just ignore that and not review it. Well, I mean, they, that's – so, I mean, I've been looking at the Bradgy Dash for a while because – and between them and Aaron, um, and apparently here one, those are the only ones that are actually using the right protocol to get through your brain, um, hmm. literally. Everybody else is using Bluetooth, and Bluetooth going through your head doesn't work. Your brain really filters it out. <laughs> so – Syncing both of those via Bluetooth is, is a problem. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I'm surprised they only get two charges out of the case, though. That seems low. All the other group guys are doing five. Well, I, I, hmm. I guess maybe I, I was I was sort of impressed. I thought by it. I thought doing, I've been doing wrong. charges out. That's pretty good. <laughs> but um, I like the concept. Yeah, I love the concept. To go -go. I, I backed a, no, a very similar product. Like almost two years ago now, I want to say on Indiegogo, mm -hmm. yeah, that was supposed to do the same thing, and they keep. I mean, they're supposed to have shipped by now, and I'm starting to get worried that, you know, it's vaporware. Yeah, because they they it, said it, it's not easy. They said we're <laughs> gonna. Really not. Here's what they've been saying. They've been saying we've shipped, and so most of our backers should have these by now. And I was an early backer, and I haven't heard anything back from them. Uh, so, hmm. if I can find it. The Dot, world's smallest Bluetooth headset. The Dot headset is what it's called. So, I'm hoping that that'll work a lot better than those things did. I'm not even going to bother writing that review unless I hear back from them and they give me an explanation as to what's wrong or a replacement. Mm -hmm. so get this instead. So, anyway, that's what's in my bag. I've got a lot more than you guys do, but, you know, I carry a bigger bag. Line. By yeah, much bigger bag. I got a much bigger bag. Uh, just I pared uh, my bag down. I, I stopped using this. This is my favorite ba bag. That's it, a nice looking messenger bag. Yeah, it's um, uh, Waterfield Designs. If you go to oh, yeah. com, these are high end bags. 
they last for don't they? Those are the ones with like the multiple lifetime warranty, right? They yeah, just, I, as long I, as they I exist. This to review like three years ago, and of course you can see it's well worn, but that kind of makes it look better, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just that it, you know, I was carrying too much, and so it was getting a little. But honestly, I keep thinking to myself, yeah, I'm gonna put everything back in that other bag, even if it's cramped. So, uh, and then they also have a really nice um, attache style. Yeah. And then they've got a beautiful. Oh, just a satchel. Yeah. Really satchel nice. st style. And uh, this holds a uh, 10 inch or smaller tablet. So I'm not using it right now <laughs> at all. But, uh, that messenger bag is beautiful. That's gorgeous, Kev. Yeah, it really is just the nicest bag I own. And um, If I could afford a water field, I would. Man, those things are nice. They just last well, forever. If you, you know, I mean, if you want like a sleeve, you can afford them. They're not that expensive. <laughs> uh, I probably would not have bought that just because of the price. Because that thing yeah, it's, it's way out of my price range. I think is the price on it, but man, is it nice. It's a beautiful bag and mm -hmm. very comfortable to use. So that's what's in my bag. Um, so let me ask you a question, guys a question because go uh, ahead. going through our bags are, are, is always a good exercise. Um, I've gone through the purge um, mm -hmm. a few dozen times where I've, I've gone through my bag. Um, actually, I most recently went through a few months ago where it was anything that did not need to go with me on a client site goes into a tin in my car. I have a nice little metal tin. And if it can't fit in the metal tin, I probably really don't need it. And so that metal tin has extra cables and has a headset that I've never used and an extra battery, I guess, something like that. Do you guys ever go through that purge? And if so, you know, what happens to your old stuff? I do the purge every time I change bags. Yeah. Um, and my last one was my most dramatic because going to the leather bag, there's just by the design of the bag, there's not as much pocket space. So I don't, I can't have as much crud with me. And so all that stuff are things that I will use intermittently. Um, some of which I probably won't use at all anymore. So I need to even purge that, but it's actually in the drawer on the side of my, my bed and my bed stand. So my magic mouse is there because Kev, that's that's one of my favorite mice to use. Um, and I'll pull that out sometimes when I'm doing video editing, where my hand just gets cramped looking at the uh, using the touchpad for a while. Uh, my TV tuner is in there, so I'll pull that every now and again if I want to record something, uh, you know, over the air. And just a couple, you know, a couple of cables and older older chargers and things like that. So, but yeah, it's I've definitely purged. And that stuff is just sitting in, sitting in there. If I didn't do what I do, you know, as, as a sidelight, I mean, I, I would probably, like, if you said to me, look, you can carry around a computer, a tablet, a phone, and, you know, you got to get rid of everything else you own. You know, I would, I would purge a lot because a lot of the extras I have are because I have, you know, I often will carry around two or three systems. Mm-hmm. And so, so I, I mean, I would carry around my iPad Pro, and uh, I would carry around my MacBook, and um, I'd probably carry the Pixel phone, and then that would get rid of probably at least a third to a half of all the cables and adapters and things like that. Um, I'm thinking seriously about upgrading to the new MacBook, not because I love the, you know, all the new stuff on it. It's just I want a 15-inch screen. Mm -hmm. You know, and so um, instead of spending a lot of money on a, a a previous generation device, you know, I may get the newest generation device, even though it's, you know, I, I played around with the keyboard uh, for the uh, the MacBook keyboard, and I think I could get used to it, even though it's not. The, new, the newer one or the? Yeah, you can get used to it. Everybody can get used to it. It's yeah. Like it's a, it's it's they know. had they have improved for the new MacBook Pros they've improved the keyboard from the original yeah the new 13 inch oh, that it, doesn't it, have the touch but, bar has the same keyboard as the ones with the touch bar right right yeah, the, the yeah. and I played on it and it felt it felt very much like typing on my iPad 
there's just Antoine. What they did is they added just enough action mm-hmm. to the keys that you no longer feel like you're tapping on glass, and that's all they needed to do. It's still a little weird because the keys are so big. Um, but it, it's. I was already. I sat down because my my neighbor got one. He's getting ready to go to college. He's like, I got the new MacBook, and I thought he got the one with the touch bar. So I was a little upset when he came about the one that didn't. Um, but he, I was like, let me type on this. And I was typing as fast as I type on my iPad in about three minutes. And so that, that to me, this says a lot about that keyboard. It makes me happy. Yeah. I was very worried about that. Kev, can I show off my other bag? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, We've got about 10 minutes. Oh. Go ahead. All right. So here's my other bag. Blah. This is my, my camera bag, which is the size of Kevin's, uh, Regular computer bag, right, Kev? <laughs> yeah. So this thing is the the suite of of wonders. So here I have my my nice Nikon D seven thousand. I have an eighteen to one hundred five millimeter lens on there. That's the focal distance. I have the other kit lens that came with that particular Nikon model. This is a seventy to to two fifty. So, no, 70, yeah, 70 to 250. Then I have a what's called a prime lens. So this is a single focal point. This is a 40 millimeter. This is like good for landscapes and doing cool portraits, which is really nice. My newest lens, which I was out doing tonight, this is actually a 500 millimeter lens. So, wow. but... What it is, it's, a, it's an old reflector lens, which is how you get that focal length. So this is essentially, it's a, if you're looking at the type of telescope, it's called, it would be a, like a schmidt cassegrain grain reflector. So it literally, it goes to the mirror in the back, it bounces to that black spot in the front, and then it goes out the, the back there. Um, I got this off of eBay for 40 bucks. And... Uh, I needed to get an adapter to let it work on my camera because it was a different type of mount, but I finally got it. I actually got it in time for the super moon yesterday and then the, uh, the clouds rolled in and I didn't get to look at it. So I was a little upset, but I got to go down to uh, the Harbor tonight and do some photo, photo or photography. So that was kind of cool. Little blower bulb, get the dust out of the stuff. <clears throat> um, this I've showed off before. This is one of my favorite things. This is what Anton uses this for the Bible. I use it for a uh, for a remote for my camera. This is a TP Link. What is it again? This is the MR thirty forty. I have this flashed with a custom firmware that connects to an app on either my Android tablet or my iOS device or my MacBook. Um, and I basically tr- it's a it's the exact same hardware that Cam Ranger uses, so I can control my uh, camera remotely, which is really, really nice. I have a battery backup charger. Uh, that's Boba Fett. So <laughs> that's always nice. Um, then let's see what I got here. Up here, you have your, my, this is a lightning to 30 pin adapter for the 30 pin SD card. So if I want to go for my camera, right to my phone or my tablet. If I'm not shooting remotely, I have the white balance, white, black, and gray cards to get my white balance. I have a USB to go cable for my Android tablet, my original Nexus. I got Lens tissues, two microfiber cloths, and then you go in here, the front pocket. I don't have anything in the way front. I actually need to start using that pocket. My inner pocket, I have power plug adapter. I have my lens pen. So if this is a, you can get it in here. So you brush all the dust off with the little brush. And then you take the cap off, and this is a carbon carbon fiber, and you can 
get all the smudges off your lens without damaging it, which is I really thought that was so you could love, draw little birds on the lens so that it looked like you had birds in the sky. I would not recommend that. That's okay. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, this is my, my sensor swab kit. So this is, a, it's got a wet and a dry swab. So it's actually kind of cool. The wet swab, um, let me see where I'm going here. That's the dry. The wet swab, um, it's reusable. So when you seal it, it go, the moisture goes back in. When you open it up, it, the air rushes in and it, it uh, helps moisten it. So this is to actually clean off the sensor itself of my camera. Yeah, so that scares me to death. Ugh. Oh, it does everything to me. I, I watched the video like 400 times. I have another microfiber lens cloth. I have a, uh, this is a micro USB cable to attach to uh, the camera. In case I want to plug it in. I have, this is probably my newest edition, teeny little Allen wrench. This is my, for my lens adapter, for my uh, T, T2 mount reflector to uh, the F, F mount, which is what my camera is. And uh, some cotton swabs for some reason that I don't even know anymore. So that's my camera bag. Well, cool. So I have more stuff in my camera bag than I do on my computer bag. <clears throat> um, which is the way it should be. And this goes with me just about everywhere. Yeah. Well, nifty. Yep. Well, guys, I think that brings us to the end of a happy, wonderful hour of what's in my bag. <laughs> and we've enjoyed it. I hope that you have enjoyed watching. Um, I probably won't even bother making a audio version of this. It would be a little bit boring. Yeah, so uh, I'm... I don't even know why I'm saying that. But anyways, if you wanted to subscribe to us, please do so on YouTube. Uh, you can also go to theotech.com and find links to how to uh, interact with us and find us and when we record and all those good kinds of things. And uh, follow me on ka Purcell. Uh, no, ka Purcell, K-A-P-U-R-C-E-L-L -L on Twitter. And I sort of have it set up where it tweets out that we're going live. So as a reminder, you can get us on uh, Stitcher Radio, iTunes and Google Play podcasts if you want to listen to audio uh, normally. This one we're not going to do audio, I don't think. But um, but we do this every week and or just about every week. During the holidays, we may not do it quite as often. Uh, we, we will be here next week almost certainly with a guest, um, a man that we've had on the show before a name, named Ricky Rodriguez. He's a kind of an Apple and tech geek. And, uh, but he runs a recording studio, and we're going to talk about uh, music tech. And uh, that should be fun and interesting. So I hope you'll join us next Tuesday night at 9 o'clock. But, uh, guys, anything before we close it out? Uh, hmm. No, nothing, nothing great yet. <laughs> right. Well, I will we'll say this. I'm trying hmm. to sell my iPad Mini. So... Anybody's interested, right? Third generation iPad mini Wi Fi and cellular. Make a comment about it. Make me a decent offer. No $2 offers. Of it. Well, as long <laughs> so, as you're plugging things like that, I'm selling an Acer Chromebook. So, uh, <laughs> yep, if you're interested in an Acer Chromebook 15 that's black and runs an Intel Core i3 processor, <laughs> it's only tech. What's in my bag and technology flea market? Yeah, that's what we okay, should do. Okay. We got to get rid of stuff at some point. You got to purge. Like? Oh. Got to purge. You know what's for sale? No, this this is a uh, that's good. Well, uh, we'll be here next week, and uh, I'm still trying to build out my transition team, and uh, these two guys are going to be on it. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa! What? Whoa! You didn't see that? I didn't sign the paperwork for that. You didn't see the what? He didn't sign the release form for that. You had to. Oh, we're not supposed to talk about that, are we? No, don't talk about that yet. Oh no! Oh, you gotta wait until the Jersey governor signs that over before you can start talking about that stuff. Oh, I've, it's, I've, but since I've, the cat's out of his bag, Kevin's starting his own religion. So what's, what's no longer in my bag? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't for president. I'm going to become the next pope. You didn't know that? Yeah, of your own religion. That's yeah. right. Mm, what color yeah. will that smoke be? <laughs> I don't even want to go there. No, green and gold. It'll be green and gold. Oh. Or blue for, for Kentucky, and I'm hoping that they're still beating most people in the state right now. But, <laughs> all right, guys. Good night. Good night, everyone. <laughs>